Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Back with y'all with another video. Today, I am gonna, if you guys seen the title, I am gonna be raising the front at a vet because this damn driveway, I'm sure y'all seen how my driveway is. That shit busted my radiator. Backing this up in here. Busted my radiator. This shit is too low. And I don't know. I guess I could raise it. These are small wheels, so if I do get like uh stickier wheels and like fatter wheels and stuff, I'm gonna need to race it anyways. So I might as well do it now. It doesn't need to be that low anyways. I think this is good because this still, like I said, is a small tire. I think this is a 19. Yeah, I think no. Actually, I think those are 18s. These are 19s. Cause you know, Z06 wheels. These are C7 Z06 wheels. And you know, these motherfuckers is 19, 18 in the front, 19 in the rear. And yeah, I think this could be smaller for sure. Well, this could be like, this is like the perfect height for this shit because a bigger tire for sure is gonna cover up that gap. It's not too much of a big gap, but I mean, you kind of could fit three fingers, I guess, three fingers in there. But like I said, bigger tire will fill all that up for sure. So I'm gonna raise this up. You guys have seen my video on how to lower. This shit got so many spider webs. If you guys ain't seen the video on how to lower the C6 on a stock boats, go back, it's probably like a year old. Go back and check that out. But today is how to raise the C6, the front of the C6. I think I only showed on a video how to lower the rear. And I told you, it's literally the same process for front and rear though, but I think the fronts were a little harder to uh, turn like the stock bolts was harder because of, I don't know but the rear was hella easy to turn so <sighs> hopefully we get this thing done easily and quickly but I do have to fucking charge this battery really quick so I can move this over I might not even have to move it over but I do want to charge the battery so this shit can run a little bit and charge the battery because it's really dead right now but let's go ahead and charge this battery really quickly and Get the process going. Last time it wasn't even like that, and I could tell there's no cooling. All that shit leaking out. And I was wondering because at first it was just one, one, uh, one 
puddle and that was two and this one is further back so i know for a fact that has to be the water pump i think it's it's coming from the water pump yeah let me just turn this thing off so yeah for a fact pretty sure the water pump is leaking but uh yeah it wasn't like that last time i started this thing up maybe just from sitting possibly i don't know now i feel like i need to get the water pump in the radiator luckily my radiator is already under warranty because i busted it before from it being in low like this but i guess i'm gonna fix this too probably go get the radiator tomorrow fuck now i don't even want to raise the car up I feel like it's pointless now <laughs> i don't think i should start the car again though because the temperature was going up so i probably will say that for another video maybe because this thing is leaking pretty bad i don't want to start it the temperature was already over half so yeah i think i should play it safe because my jack does not go under there and I would have to push this car. I mean, I would have to, since it's on this hill, I would have to start the car. I would have to start the car because it's way too low for my jack to go under there. So yeah, probably just wait. Cause I would have to start the car, drive it up onto like a, like onto like some bricks or something. Maybe like a ramp or something, but yeah oh that sucks that really sucks was gonna lord i mean raise this thing up because this thing is way too low way too low it looks good though but yeah it's way too low i guess damn i guess i see if i could get my water pump under warranty too because i do not want to pay for that i feel like that shit gonna be hella money i'm gonna try to change the radiator this week and the water pump this week because i i've been wanting to drive this car a lot i miss driving this car but to be honest i don't know i might still end up doing that raising a car tomorrow let's just see if i could push the car up and just reverse the car back i don't know i still gotta put these goddamn white buddy fenders on here that's like the last thing the rear fenders and the front bumper and then of course like the carbon fiber side skirts and wing and front uh lip but yeah that sucks i was gonna do that today and that just ruined my plans. But the next video you guys see is probably going to be me removing the rear seats of the Camaro. It might even come out before this. I'm deleting the rear seats in that car and probably give you guys an update on this car soon too. Probably in the Camaro video. I don't know. I'll probably do that video tomorrow in the morning. Go get this radiator for this shit. See if I can get the water pump as well in the warranty. So, yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. But, I guess that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Uh, today didn't go as planned, and that is crazy. That shit is leaking. It's leaking so bad. I don't know if you guys can see that. Damn. actually crazy but <sighs> trying to get this thing back on the road but i feel like every time i do there's something wrong with this shit it's always something wrong with this car ever since i got it it's a love-hate relationship with this damn car but like i said i will be doing a update on the beamer as well soon i don't know what's gonna go on with that car 
I did post it for sale. My friend was saying he wanted to buy it too, so we're gonna see what happens. But I guess that's gonna do it for the video, guys. If you guys haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to the rear seat delete in the Camaro. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.